US troops are still swooping in to help Pakistan's flood victims. Backed up by $300 million in American aid. But the cash didn't buy much goodwill. On Friday, militants ambushed a NATO convoy on its way to Afghanistan. They torched oil tankers and killed two drivers. And Pakistan closed the Khyber Pass border crossing. The U.S. has other routes to get supplies into Afghanistan. The, uh, the land supply routes through Pakistan are vitally important. Why it was closed is where it gets interesting. Pakistani officials said punishment for U.S. forces frequently crossing its border, including Thursday, when a U.S. aircraft entered Pakistani airspace and may have mistakenly shot several of Pakistan's troops. Pakistani officials publicly condemned the U.S., questioning whether the two countries were allies or enemies. But Pentagon officials said Pakistan's military told us they only closed the supply route because of security concerns over possible militant attacks. The overall relationship with Pakistan is complicated, more complicated than any strategic relationship I've ever been involved in. It's one built on mixed messages, where Pakistan's government condemns American actions to show its own people it can stand up to the U.S. But that tactic may be wearing thin. And I have real problems with the Pakistan government publicly attacking us when we accurately hit a target, when it is clear that they don't object privately. Senator Carl Levin admits the U.S. may have made a mistake in Thursday's shooting, but he strongly criticized Pakistan for only going after militants that threaten its own government and not insurgents who plot attacks in Afghanistan and overseas. They got some responsibility to go after them, and they haven't carried out that responsibility. The tensions are rising, but analysts say it's not near the breaking point. I think the relationship is important enough to both countries for them to work very hard to make it survive.